as a shy space. Breaking Bad is a very, very popular TV show. It's uh, one of the most well-known series, uh, which just has so much popularity centered around it. Despite its age, it is still very, very popular. Even after Breaking Bad, it has El Camino, the movie after it. And uh, the other show, Better Call Saul. Breaking Bad, I mean, at, at this point, everyone knows what is um, that show already. And uh, it's, just, it's just really popular. And I can't think in the top of my head any shows that are very similar to Breaking Bad. And the reason I'm talking about this is because there is one movie that I just just want to recommend to anyone who really loves Breaking Bad and if even if you're not a fan of Breaking Bad I mean this is a really good movie in general there is a, a very an old movie it was a Mexican movie it's called uh, La, Le uh, La Ley de los Herodes in English it's called Herod's Law and the way I came across this movie is uh, we, uh, we were just browsing through movies to watch one night uh, with my family. My dad was gonna pick a movie and he saw that thing pop up and he just put it immediately, just saying, oh my God, this is a good movie. Man, that's a good movie. And I just couldn't help but just feel like, man, this is like a Mexican Breaking Bad. <laughs> and it's a, it's a, outstanding movie it's I, I don't want to get into spoilers because there, there's a lot of stuff that happens I don't want to say too much to ruin any decent reaction anyone may have uh, if you're truly interested in, in seeing this piece um, there is a there there's like a, oh in just to uh, bring it up it, it's on Netflix La Ley de los Herodes Herod's Law is on Netflix, and um, oh, I mean, where do I even begin with this movie? <laughs> Let's see, it's, the movie is deceiving, because at first you're led to believe, you're, you're gonna be thinking that it's, it, it's very, it's, it's like funny, it's funny, goofy, and wholesome. And um, you expect that to be that way throughout the entire film. However, um, yeah, that doesn't really happen. Instead, what transpires in the movie is uh, the main character um, really succumbing to the practices and um, all the bad shit that is surrounding him. Even though in the beginning he does try his best to be... Uh, good, like he does try to do some good, but uh, everything against him, he only uh, just ends up breaking bad. <laughs> if that makes sense, it's um, it's I, it's it's similar to Breaking Bad, uh, in a way which uh, it's using that um, that uh, that big change from good to bad, um, because it's it's what I can think of like I, I just see a similar very similar to the show the only uh, uh, other show I think is similar to Breaking Bad is like Ozark which is a completely another scenario which is uh, about money laundering but La Ley de los Herodes man I I, w I was fairly surprised uh, the whole movie is an old Mexican movie uh, the actor who plays the main character, Juan, I think his name was. Uh, the main character's name is Juan. Uh, the actor, I don't know the, I don't remember the actor's name, but the actor does a, a fantastic job at uh, just acting in the whole thing. The whole movie is centered around corruption of uh, of uh, authority and uh, stuff similar to it, and. Um, it's it, it it's perfect in the in the actor's own words the movie is truly perfect and I, I wanted to make this video just to really just recommend that if you liked and watch if you watch and like Breaking Bad 
watch that movie if you're not really a fan that you can watch it anyway it doesn't matter if you're a fan of Breaking Bad or not it can go both ways whether you're a fan or not because that movie is a like a much uh, must watch even though it's uh, old it is like a it is like R-rated like you're actually gonna see some boobies in it so <laughs> some like explicit scenes that do feature boobies because you know at, at the uh, at the time the movie came out that was just a normal thing uh, I, I don't know but uh, I wish I could talk more about the movie but I, 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 I feel like I've said too much I've said what I needed to say uh, just so I don't ruin anyone's uh, anyone's opportunity to engage in the movie and have at least a very decent reaction to the said movie. So that's uh, that's pretty much all I got. Um, thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, the whole purpose of this was just to recommend that. I'll even uh, leave a link in the uh, description. Maybe if I find a link to said movie, maybe on Netflix or something, I'll just show you the name. It's a good movie, for real. And uh, before I end the video, actually, I do want to uh, talk about one more thing. My last video where I was discussing what was going to happen, um, I did not make that video with um, the purpose in mind to... Um, garner any response or comments on it i expected the opposite uh negative shit or n m most likely nothing at all what i've seen in the comments and it, it's just nothing but positivity on that video um really uplifting and i i, I saw that i don't know what to say um like it's like a uh, stand here, sit here, stand here, sit here before, um, before those watching, uh, especially those who said such positive things. Uh, thank you, man. God bless you. It's uh, I'm, I keep looking down there. Just look at the camera. Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, very uplifting, and I'm happy to see it. Uh, know that at least. Um, I mean, at least someone's watching. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know anything. I, I just prove. I just, you know, pump stuff out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, just recommending that movie and just saying thank you for your kind words. So, uh, again, thank you everyone so much for watching. My name is Shine Space. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.